welcome back. Today, I'm going to kick off a three-part series on fanfiction and tell you why you should start writing fanfiction today. Let's get into it. The first benefits I'll discuss in today's video are practice and surrounding yourself with a supportive community. Let's face it, teen writers tend to get looked down on a lot. Parents don't always understand. They see their teen holed up in their room, hunched over a keyboard or notepad, and assume they're up to no good playing some brain-rotting game or something else. Strangely, they can assume the act of writing itself is the brain-rotting activity, as if that makes any sense. They think, at your age, you should be doing something more immediately productive and thinking about your future. That's fair enough, on one level. Their job is to prepare you to have a future after all. But some parents never stop to consider that maybe writing is your future. I saw one girl whose father, after seeing her art, stabbed his finger at it and said, you will never sell this, as if that should have been her primary concern. I felt a part of her soul die from across the room. I don't want to get too deep into the weeds on this in this video, but we have a bias in this culture against play. This includes writing and other so-called frivolous activities. We think that if something isn't physically productive, then it isn't worth doing. The reality is that it's through play that we make sense of the world around us. And for those of us who write, the cathartic scratching of pen on paper is the play by which we make sense of it. And your peers aren't often much better. I don't know. Maybe kids are kinder now than when I rode my dinosaur to school. But I remember one of my classmates found a story I was writing. For an already bullied boy, the ribbing I took put me off writing for years. Teachers and other professionals tend to have a problem with fanfic because they think it doesn't actually teach you anything about becoming a professional writer. Again, as if that should be your primary concern. But that's a wrong assumption to begin with, as I'll go into shortly. Of all the forms of writing you could choose, fanfic seems to be at the bottom of the list for respect. For parents, it's just childish make-believe. For your peers, it's just nerdy stories about spaceships and flying blue boxes. It's not given much more respect in the mainstream publishing industry either. But if you're serious about your writing, there are several very good reasons why you should ignore all the naysayers and focus on this underappreciated form of literature. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the description of this video for book recommendations as well as all the tools and resources I use in my writing and video production. Back to the video. The first reason is practice. If you're serious about your writing, then what you need most of all right now is practice. You need to dive in the deep end and just start writing. Write whatever you like. Write about everything and lots of it. And if fanfiction makes that easier, then go for it. The form of English you learn in English classes is great, I'm not dismissing that. But for a professional writer, that's only the beginning of the journey. The kind of English you learn in classes has its limits. It's designed to give you a solid foundation so you can communicate technical information in a work environment. So you can build a resume and covering letter, or write memos and emails. It's good for what it is, but if you want to take your skills to the next level, you need to level up yourself. And that means practice. It means taking your work and putting it out in front of an audience for critique and support. Fanfiction is a great, low-risk way of doing that. When you write fanfiction, you're part of a fandom. If you publish on a website like fanfic.net or AO3, you are publishing to that fandom. These communities are usually fairly closely knit, active, and eager to welcome newcomers. They also provide advice and feedback on your work that is usually very supportive and encouraging. Just remember not to feed the trolls. Every community has them. Along with practice, support is what you really want right now. You need to surround yourself with a community that will support and encourage your writing. Fanfic communities like those that exist on fanfic.net are great for this. I remember when I was writing one of my stories, a crossover called Indiana Jones and the Eternal Crypt, one piece of criticism I received was that one of my chapters was a bit slow. He also said that he liked my other chapters, but this one was a bit slow for him and he was looking forward to the story picking up on the other side. This was good advice for me. It reminded me of two things. You shouldn't bog down the pace of your story for anything. It also told me that if you can hook a reader within the first few chapters, which I had at this point, a reader will forgive a dip in pace for the promise of a pickup on the other side. Just don't count on that as a strategy. Thank you for watching and I hope that helped. 
In the next video in the series, I'll be discussing characters and plots, serial patterns in fiction, and crossovers. I hope to see you there. Until next time, good writing and Calamus Gladio Fortior.